Seattle City Light is proud to present the 1988 Light Power and Pride Awards. Light Power and Pride represents outstanding performance by City Light employees in three distinct categories. The Safety Awards, the High Voltage Performance Awards, and the J.D. Ross Achievement Awards. The Safety Awards are aimed at field workers and groups who beat accident rate projections. The Safety Awards goal is to keep employees safer on the job. Started in 1986 in the Transmission and Distribution and Operations Divisions, these awards were expanded this year to include warehousers in the Materials Management Division, surveyors and construction engineering employees in the Engineering Division, and appliance electricians in the Customer Service Division. In each of the five areas, lotteries are held granting paid personal leave to employees who have achieved or exceeded preset safety goals. All employees eligible for the safety award are entered in the lotteries and winners are selected by random drawings. High Voltage Performance Award winners are nominated by their peers and selected by a committee of City Light employees. The selection is based on exceptional performance, outstanding achievement, and exemplary personal characteristics. The following winners were chosen from 105 nominations. Lorraine Bernhard keeps things running smoothly and efficiently for the Transmission and Distribution Office at the North Service Center. She actively encourages others to perform at a high level and consistently invents new, better ways to handle problems. Crew chiefs and supervisors rely on her thorough knowledge of City Light policies and procedures and all value her as a key member of the North Transmission and Distribution Team. Wayne Bishop joined City Light in 1950 and rose to the position of Chief Civil Engineer. His 37-year career has involved him in many important projects, most recently including major additions to the Boundary Project, completion of the Cedar Falls Improvement and Safety Projects, and completion of the Lucky Peak Project under budget. As Chief Civil Engineer, Wayne believed in participatory management and has always encouraged others to do their best. Wayne retired this year and his knowledge and skills will be missed by City Light. We all wish him the best in the future. Tom Buller has been with City Light for 21 years and is recognized as the driving force behind the Skagit crew's 10-year success record in controlling vegetation under the transmission lines. Tom is a conscientious lead person and sets standards of hard work, diligence, and safety for his crew. As a dedicated family man and active community member, Tom is deeply respected by his co-workers and neighbors. He is a credit to his community and City Light. Mike Knudsen started with City Light 15 years ago as an electrician constructor. Three years later, he became a journey-level electrician constructor and last August was made crew chief. Mike has consistently performed his duties beyond expectations and on time. His concern and sensitivities for others helps to foster a team spirit in all the jobs he does. Mike has also been involved with the Electrician Constructor Apprentice Program and has developed an excellent apprentice evaluation system for the program. Dick Kahutek is an exceptional crew chief. He cares about his coworkers and is sensitive to their needs. Dick is a mainstay for equal opportunity and affirmative action. He has helped employees overcome problems and become productive team members. Dick developed the utility's PCB SWAT team, creatively procuring the necessary training and equipment, including finding a surplus truck and revamping it into a PCB spill response vehicle. Richard Kahutek is without a doubt among the best at City Light. Tony Sandoval is the shop electrician in appliance repair. His supervisors and peers agree that Tony is well organized, efficient, and consistently performs exceptional work. He's patient and courteous with customers and colleagues and makes a personal investment in the morale of fellow employees. Tony is perhaps most famous for his Big Breakfast, held several times a year at the South Service Center. On their own time, starting at 5.30 a.m., Tony and his volunteers cook enough bacon, eggs, potatoes, and pancakes to feed over 150 employees. Tony's spirit and dedication are the essence of light, power, and pride. Jane Soder has been with City Light for eight years and presently supervises the rates section of the finance division. An outstanding supervisor and excellent communicator, Jane sets high standards for herself and for those around her. Not limiting herself to the projects and problems of her own division, Jane has received the Green Hanger Award from Environmental Affairs Division for her contributions to environmental quality. Ed Stiles has been working for City Light for more than 30 years. 
Ed has designed many of the financial systems currently in use by the department. To ensure that the vital knowledge that he has gained over the years will not be lost after he retires, Ed is now in the process of documenting all City Light data systems. Due to Ed's efforts, City Light has been able to develop our financial systems and train our staff without the aid of outside consultants. Linda Gallo, Irene Valdez, and Rita Wu have worked quietly and diligently for many years, ensuring accurate and rapid input of financial data. Their fast fingers are called on time and again to respond to crises and deadlines, such as pay periods and year-end wrap-ups. Individually, they are responsive, helpful, and professional. Together, they form one of the best teams in the department. City Light is proud to present the High Voltage Performance Team Award to these outstanding employees. The final category of Light, Power, and Pride are the J.D. Ross Achievement Awards. The program recognizes and rewards those whose work has saved the utility a minimum of $2,500 during the award year. Employees are nominated for these awards by management and selected by committee after extensive review and cost-benefit analysis. This year's winners include three individuals and two teams. Rhonda Kincaid provides specialized advisory services to commercial customers in the downtown network area on electrical service installations, account responsibility, and energy utilization. Acting as liaison between our crews and the customer, Rhonda helps to make sure that complex installations are done right and on time. Her ability to anticipate and resolve problems in the early stages has saved City Light and the customers she serves thousands of dollars. During the award year, Rhonda's exceptional work resulted in savings of approximately $10,000 to the utility. Her work performance is excellent, and she deserves this recognition. Willie Curlow oversees the operation, maintenance, and repair of all electrical equipment for Boundary Powerhouse. He is a multi-talented individual with proven expertise as an electrical constructor, machinist, and powerhouse operator. By sharing his broad knowledge of Boundary Powerhouse with machinists, operators, and fellow constructors, and his uncanny troubleshooting ability, Willie has facilitated quick repairs and increased generator availability. Willie's work has resulted in documented savings of more than $50,000 in avoided repair costs and downtime. Acting as project manager, Alan Leong oversaw this year's conversion of the computerized capital improvement program system from a private vendor to the University of Washington. By maintaining active involvement in all aspects of the project and through development, testing, and parallel operation costs, Alan was able to accomplish the conversion at $30,000 under the estimated cost. In addition, because the CIP data now runs at the University of Washington, the utility stands to save $50,000 each year compared to the cost of a private vendor. Allen's hard work, ability to learn, and dedication to getting the job done will benefit City Light for years to come. Working as a team, Surrender Ricky and Beverly Little Strong developed an alternative to the costly and complex computer modeling required of major building projects to ensure compliance with the Seattle Energy Code. Called the Prescriptive Path, the software they developed provides a specific set of guidelines for a proposed building which, when followed, will ensure compliance with the energy code. Prior to this method, review times averaged 120 hours per project. Now any project following the prescriptive path can save City Light review time of around 100 hours and up to $25,000 for the developer. The four projects that have used the method so far have saved more than $66,000 in 1988. Congratulations to a great team. The team of Burt Perard and Jim Ritchie exemplify the spirit of the J.D. Ross Awards and demonstrate the rewards of interdivisional cooperation. Burt and Jim collaborated on the design and development of a unique battery testing system. The system precisely measures the load carrying capability and remaining useful life of the batteries which power the control circuits at the substations. The testing system was put into full-time operation late last year and is estimated to have already saved $42,000 in costs associated with battery failure during power outages. But just as important as the dollar savings is the example set by Jim and Burt's teamwork in finding a better way to perform a traditional task. Thanks to them, the department's customers will receive better service for years. Those are the winners for 1988. Our thanks to each of them for a job exceptionally done.
Seattle City Light is proud of all of them.